one question that came in here is, are there any alternative methods of protecting innovations and keeping them undisclosed to the public? Uh, by that, you know, does trade secret protection exist in Southeast Asian countries? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's that's a good question. I feel uh, because we're dealing with in inventions today and the other alternative to protecting an invention is keeping it a trade secret. Trade secret is usually typically a common law protection. So common law basically does not need a statute as such. But uh, in Southeast Asia, I noticed that many countries actually do have statutory trade secret protection. So it's a, it does exist by either statutory law or by common law, which is uh, the practice of the courts and what is generally followed. But yes, it does exist and it applies to basically uh, inventions, which let's say are um, not inventions, but sensitive and confidential information, let's mm -hmm. say. So any processes, a recipe, for example, the most famous trade secret that we all know is the recipe of Coca-Cola, right? So... That's a trade secret. So these are things that you can keep secret. The benefit as opposed to patents is that you do not have to disclose it. So if it's a kind of uh, invention or a, uh, an information which you do not wish to be disclosed, which is not really earning you money from being disclosed, but more to your company personally, and is giving you a competitive advantage, either towards your competitors or through your customers, then you can keep it confidential. But of course, there are steps for protecting it. So usually the steps are basically keeping it um, keeping it confidential, ensuring that you have the right checks in place. So IT security, uh, making sure that you have, you sign agreements with your employees, ex-employees. So all of this is really important with trade secret protection. And yes, it does exist in Southeast Asia in different forms.